my gifts innate grand rising beloveds of earth the song today is if I could find time in a bottle I'm in a free will trade agreement with Mother Earth she gives me air sunshine rain the climate that's suitable and conducive for my growth I give her my love my joy my sorrow my tears and every cell of my body continues a recycling process with her as are you I access my talents my abilities based on practice which makes perfect once you've perfected an ability you develop a skill that you can trade I access my gifts innately the wisdom that comes from my right brain creativity amplified by my left brain cognitive abilities to manipulate things that I could touch also I use my manual dexterity to make into construct my thoughts the things that I see in my walking dream my daydream or my night journeys out of body into spirit how are you accessing your gifts and your talents and your abilities are you able to respond to your abilities do you use them with responsibility many of you are busy with back to school it's back to school time back to school time living on earth there is never a back to school you're always in school you're in her universe you are always observing and learning and some of us learning and teaching sharing and guiding what are the principles that guides this exchange free will energy free trade note the word trade get it the law of reciprocity the law of correspondence I'm corresponding with you right now I'm sharing insights I'm sharing sound I'm sharing words and if you feel the smile <laughs> I'm sharing joy it's my morning coffee cafe here in the cafe of my mind here and bearing the joys or the emotional feelings of my inner being my heart space now for a lot of people trust and thrust and receptivity and digestion ingestion digestion and what you do with that which you ingest are a beautiful way of trading their gifts, their talents, their resources. Today, I ask you in the most loving and kind way, be a gift to yourself. Be loving to yourself. There are many bonds here in the physical plane that are also spiritual chemical bonds that could tie your hands and bonds that could tie your mind bonds that could unlock certain chemical reactions in the head in the helmet in the crown that you wear it to whom much is given much is required so love many of us reap the harvest of it 
Today is one of those days. So love, which is an investment in your emotions given over time, in time. Yet it came from a timeless state, a non-physical state. Are the bonds that you have, whether confinement or whether an accord to trade or exchange with others, a limiter, a delimiter, or a dia meter? Mother Earth is dia. I'd love for you to take some time today to go outside in nature and meet her, speak to her. Give her thanks, gratitude for being. Oftentimes she is the only divine deity that most can see, feel, touch, lay on, lay in, and embrace. Yet you can't put your hands around all of her. Sometimes all that you can hold of her is a rock, a tree, or walk on her sandy beaches sip from her rivers or bathe in her streams or oceans sea but today i ask for you can you separate one aspect of her and not have her completeness inside of that one grain of sand that one sip of water sweet water you know the taste of the brine, the brackish water of the sea, and you don't drink that, yet you can. Some of you who are poor swimmers end up drinking a lot of water before someone pulls you out of the depths. Today I want you to see the water, the whole sea, as something that comes up to your uncle. Some of you are drowning in just this little bit of water that you could easily stand on, stand in, and not drown, not asphyxiate. Even the air we're breathing now has water in it. We breathe into everything, and we only keep the O2 and exchange it for CO2, CO2. So here, let's CO2 create, CO2 create in this divine alchemic bonding that we are here on Mother Earth to caress, to have our soul resting in these bodies. It is not the clothes that I'm wearing that is my body. It's simply the vestry. It is not the skin that you are wearing that is your being. That too is simply the vestry, the decoration, the present, the box that holds your regalo, your gifts, your regal ohms, your vibration, your thoughts, your sentience, your illumination. So today, take a bite of information from your Taurus feel around you. Today, I'd like you to take a piece of the divine, divine, the fibers, the helix that are the patterns of your life form, your genomics, your gene of the own, the peace of God that rests in you. Today, I want you to see yourself like the Buddha who sits in observation and connects with the infinity. Now, I want you to be the Bodhisattva. Those who had attained this level of enlightenment, yet promised to stay to help others bear fruit in themselves. Today, I want you to be the crystal cells in your body the Christ in all things and hope in your glory. I want you to celebrate, celebrate, free your mind, 
free your thoughts and free your cells. Many of us have contracts with others on the outside that we'll meet from time to time. Those of you who will find this, hey, it was a pre-agreement that you would. When you do it, it's up to you. There is no rush, just the rushing winds. There is no force, but just the life force that brings you here. There is no big stick that is going to beat you, but there is a mystic, a mystique of the yin and the yang that must come together to create your dynamic infusion, your body's reactor, your dynamo. Babies do it. Infants do it. Fetus does it inside their mama. They go through the zygotic process from a single cell that joins another single cell to create a multicellular being like you and me, we. Absolutely. A, B, all for better. The alphabet soup of life. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm simply speaking from my spirit, giving a thought, an idea, a light bulb, an inspiration. It's back to school time. And I am enrolling students into this thought flow we call the living waters. You can participate by your free will. There is a symbol that my students have. It's one of the ways that they support the ministry. See it? It's a pendant representative of your composition as star here on earth as you are in the heavens, each with its uniqueness. If you have been seeing the number 5555, you can acquire this. $55.55, your gift for enrolling in this thought process we called a scholarship. In your skull, you can hear the ship. It's called like-minded communication, telepathy, empathy, emotions, like the movement of the oceans, sound that moves the deep waters, both within the spirit and in the exterior world. Are you ready to live inspired? by the Spirit, not by might, but by amity, which means friendship, amistad, amicable. Are you able to be amica? The soul of your body speaks within. The soul of my body greets you. Namaste, namaskar, the divine in me sees the divine in you and in that place where we merge you see the vesicus pisces ves means to see with the first eye the soul pisces is simply the pool the swimming of the water the two fish and your five senses are like the five loaves or the five stones some will call it many names, but still I will call it in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> or we can call it in the musical alphabet. Every good boy deserve favor always. All cows eat grass. Then on the base level, Good boys deserve favor. <laughs> you see what I mean? Or good girls, it doesn't matter. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Are you amused by music? Are you inspired by music? 
can music leave markers within the subconscious mind to retrieve things that you won't remember in time? A blissful morning, afternoon, or evening, even in the nighttime, whenever you receive this message, I hope it inspires you well. To participate in this offer, to make a contribution, a donation to the integrated masters and lady masters coming together as yin and yang. If you feel the urge to inquire within and inquire with me, the PayPal link is iron and clay ministries at gmail.com to receive your access point. This offer is called the Living Waters. Make an investment today and more of these videos you will find. Open your eyes and see within. Are you satisfied with the life you're living? Divine breath be to you. Divine joy be in you. Be in your venue, the place where the Creator expands in joyfulness, in wellness restoration, in that zero point of your singularity. Allow the life force of divine unity, the enlightenment of consciousness to be reborn in you, in me in us. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching. Namaste.